at the AHR conference here in Las Vegas. I'm always talking about vacuum, the importance of vacuum, and talking about multiple different products and brands that do that same thing. We talk so many times about those two hoses. Here we have a perfect example of the two hoses coming to this evaporator coil. You see here we got this uh, micron gauge, and notice it's far away from the vacuum pump itself. What's really cool is we have this new Y connection on here. Remember we, before we had the homemade T connection, bullhead T? This is gonna flow a whole lot better than coming into that direct T port. So I didn't even know this product existed until right now, but it's really awesome. They also have this vacuum rated core removal tool. And this also has a larger bore inside, which is gonna allow better flow through there. And what is cool is it does have the magnetic end on the back and it's rated for, Matthew, what's this rated for? 20 microns. 20 microns. We have Matthew here. He's an expert with the Uniworld products. It's been in the family. I've met his dad before. Matthew, what can you tell us about this setup? Well, with this kit, what we're doing is two things. We're removing restrictions and we're increasing flow. So like you mentioned, with the core tool, we're gonna remove those valve cores. So there's a restriction gone. Also, because we have a ball valve on each of these core tools and de dedicated vacuum hoses, we eliminate the need for a manifold. So there's another restriction out of the equation. Increasing flow. You mentioned the, the Y adapter there. So that allows you to get a dual hose connection on any vacuum pump. So you're gonna increase your flow that way. And as you mentioned also, the larger borehole through the core tool, that increases flow as well. Um, obviously, a larger hose is gonna make your flow a lot faster. So using a large half inch hose, that's gonna increase flow as well. So let's go ahead and turn on the pump. Yeah, right before you turn the pump on, sure. we talk about always having the connections. I gave you the link before how you can have your own connections, but this is awesome because it has the connections on both sides with a metal hook so you can hang this up. It keeps your hoses clean, dry, and tight. Didn't even know this existed until today. So you always got to keep up on the new stuff. The products are always changing. So we're going to talk about a few more things. But Matthew, is there any paid connection here at all whatsoever? Oh, not at all. Not, not at, at all. all. This is no. just products that I find I find interesting. There's no money to being exchanged. It's just things that I find useful. And I really appreciate your, appreciate your time. So what else do you have to show us? Well, what I can do right now, uh, so we have our, this is what our, we're calling our pro kit set up here. So in the pro kit, you get two hoses, six foot, half inch hoses. On each end of those hoses, you're gonna have a quarter inch connection on one end, you're gonna have a three eighth connection on the other end. So the quarter inch will be able to attach to your core tool. The three eighth is gonna attach to that Y adapter and give you the dual hose connection on your pump. Uh, so right now we can go ahead, you wanna sure, let's turn on up. the pump and we'll go ahead and watch the micron reading drop so is down. Is your oil in good shape? Has it been changed since the last time we it, operated it? It is in great shape. Fantastic. As you can see, we've got perfectly clear oil in there, ready to go. Now what's the biggest failure for your pumps you've had? The biggest issue with pumps with them not working. 100% is, is people not maintaining their pumps. 100%. Right. Not changing the oil as often as they should. It's almost like we've talked about that before. It's just almost <laughs> familiar, right? Let's power this guy up, see what Absolutely. happens. Absolutely. Go ahead and pop that on. So we'll open up the valves. We have a light on here? We do. Wow, look at that. We get a light too. <laughs> Look how fast we're pulling our microns down. 350 microns and dropping like a rock. Now another feature of our core tool that we always like to uh, brag about is the fact that it is rated all the way down to 20 microns and how well the ball valve will hold the vacuum. So once we pull this down, let's say, get it down to about 200 microns, we'll shut off these ball valves and we'll watch the rate of decay of the vacuum and you should be impressed. Make sure everything's tight. When did this product come out here, your micron gauge? The UVG2 we introduced, I believe, maybe two years ago. Maybe oh, I'm behind. I think behind. two, yeah. Well, we haven't been at shows in two years, oh, that's right? True. So, that's, so yeah, we haven't really been able to show. Free this is the first show that we've been able to show it to, to everybody, right. so. Super, super accurate micron gauge. Um, also, there's a, there's a filter, there's a metal filter and a cloth filter built into uh, the sensor, so it protects from contamination. When I did testing with this Micron gauge, I actually tried to contaminate it with oil by taking a syringe and, and squirting oil in there. Could not contaminate it. Could yeah. not get this Micron gauge to give me a false reading. I just couldn't. So, very reliable. I love this Micron gauge, it's great. On your valve cord, is your O-ring in here replaceable? That's a, you know, you're the second person to ask me that. No, okay, <laughs> it's not. Just the the O-ring itself is not, okay. but there is uh, just a set screw that holds that top piece on there, and okay. that is replaceable. All right. So if it ever needed to be replaced, if you just call customer service at Uniweld, 
we will happily send you a brand new uh, piece. You can replace it. No problem. You guys travel around with this evaporator cooler just for this example now? We we only bring it to this show. Okay. It's, it's bulky. It's yeah, kind of. Yeah. I haven't seen it before. Isn't yeah. <laughs> but it is good as a as a demo display. Yeah. It's pretty nice. I know that there's another manufacturer that used a large tank for the same volume. And my issue was it's not the volume we're pulling, mm -hmm. it's the surface area. Mm -hmm. So a coil will have more surface area than just one large tank. Right. So even though you're pulling the volume down, it's not it's not the same. That's a good point. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Is it going to get there? Think it's going to make it? It'll make it. How far have you pulled this down to so far? Well, so far today, I've gotten it down to 130 microns, which is pretty low. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty low. And that's assuming your uh, whoever braised it did a good job, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have any leaks because once we shut off these ball valves and you watch the rate of decay, it's very, very slow. So Every time I go to the grocery store, I always find leaks. It's right over there close to the lettuce. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got me with that one. Here we go. Okay, we're at 200 microns. We'll go ahead and shut off these valves. Go ahead and shut off the pump there as well. So initially, there's always going to be a little spike. But there we go. It starts to settle off. And that's holding pretty steady right there. Now, the rate of decay, like I said, it's going to slow down. It's going to hold your vacuum. And we can also prevent a lot of that jump by, as we get close to a vacuum, we can open and close this ball valve. They'll trap just a little bit of gas between those walls. So as you're pulling your microns down, you can open and close that. And that way, when you do shut it off for the final test, it will hold and not jump nearly as much. Okay. Fantastic. Great. Thank you. Really appreciate you. My pleasure. Thanks, Thanks. Zach.